I'm Matt Bisher, 38 years old. I'm from Schenectady, New York, and uh, I like um, long walks on the beach, uh, expensive wine, dinner by candlelight. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, somebody, or actually two people who were very important to me uh, as part of my growing up process, uh, and they were my grandparents. I was uh, in a very dysfunctional home growing up. My parents didn't get along very well. Uh, there wasn't much uh, discipline, if you will. I was, uh, I'm the oldest of uh, four siblings, and uh, it was just, it was a chaotic environment uh, for many years. And up until about the age of 12, uh, my parents split up, and I, uh, the saving grace was my grandparents, and my maternal grandparents who took me in uh, at the age of 12. And um, so I developed a very close relationship with them for the next 14 years, I believe with my grandparents, and that was something that uh, not many people have an opportunity to do, um, have a special one-on-one -on -one bond with, with your grandparents, who are very special people, uh, and were special to me, and uh, they really helped me um, turn things around in my life. I became more disciplined, my uh, school grades uh, got better, I went from a C to, to an A student, and um, they really were influential. Uh, in terms of setting the example for me, they were married 52 years. I use them as, and I still to this day, use them as um, a prime example of, of how relationships should be committed relationships. They, they kind of, I still look through a prism, their prism, uh, so to speak, of, of the world around me. Uh, they, were, they knew that I had a very um, early interest in, in weather, uh, watching the weather. Um, I used to call the uh, Channel 6 weather phone all the time. I was like a nerd, weather nerd. Uh, so they, they, fought, they recognized that and they fostered, they fostered that, um, that interest in me. And uh, I went on through the confidence that I got living with that uh, and the examples of, of hard work and dedication. I eventually pursued meteorology and became a meteorologist on television. And um, I, to this day, uh, I don't think I would be where I am today without um, the, the influence on my life. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys.